Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of my Stardew Valley modded playthrough for 1.6. It's another beautiful day on the farm, and we have a little cutscene from Yuma here. Hi RBX, I'm really sorry for the sudden visit. No, that's okay. I was on my way to shop for groceries when Miss Lenny asked me for a favor. She asked me to tell you to visit Ridgeside on a sunny day whenever you're free. She has something important to discuss with you. Okay. That was her whole message, so I'll be leaving now. I'll see you later. Alright, Yuma. Um, if that's the case, today's a nice and sunny day, so why don't we go visit Ridgeside Village today? My plan for this week is to get more money, because I want to start upgrading my tools, getting a better fishing rod, and potentially preparing for summer, which starts in a week. And I'm going... And I'm going to need a lot of money by the end of the week. But the good thing about this is that I think for the community center, anyways, we've already donated most of the stuff that we need to for spring. So I'll work on that. But money is going to be money is going to be the main focus for uh, this week. Let me water all my crops first. Hi, Izzy. So what I want to do is I want to get my foraging up because... Uh, my foraging is only level 3, as you can see, while all, the, all of my other skills are getting to be level 4, except for combat. So I want to keep kind of keep them on par, and if I can get the if I can get the skill or the upgrade and get it to level 5, then that would be really nice to have before summer starts. So I'll try my best to do that. So let's head into town and see if there's any NPCs I can talk to and maybe go visit the mountains and then I'll go visit uh, Ridgeside Village so we can see what Yuma was talking about. Always make sure to check your trash cans. Uh, let's pick up these clams so we can sell them in a gold quality clam. They honestly don't sell for a whole lot, but it's doable. And when I was recording my last video, I kind of noticed that my sound quality was a bit low. So um, I've kind of rearranged my desk and my microphone. So uh, me talking should me talking should be able to overtake. I messed around with some settings in my recording app. I messed around with some settings in my recording app or my recording software, and I sh and my voice should be a little bit louder because when I was editing, it was hard to it was hard to separate my voice. And we got a lost book there, which is really cool. It was hard to separate my voice from uh, the gameplay. So because of that, the game or my voice ended up being a little bit quieter than I would have liked. But anyways, let's see what's going on in Ridgeside Village. I get a little rail cut or I get a little cutscene going up the mountain, which is nice. So let's go see what is going on in Ridgeside Village. Now don't go thinking about that being some form of child labor or something. That sweet young boy was on his way to Pelican Town anyways, and I didn't want to pass up the opportunity. So what's this about? About that important business. See that minecart over there? I was thinking of a small project for us. I mean, why the heck not? Think of it as a small challenge. Come, let's go take a closer look. Oh, it's like a... Is it going to be like a mini side quest? To get the minecart repaired? Now look here. This old minecart ha here hasn't been of use for such a long time. It was originally intended to be a quick travel method for cases of emergencies. If ever the war reached the valley, the war... Fortunately, it didn't come to that, so it never really served its purpose and was eventually abandoned. And so, I've been thinking. She wants me to repair it. How about I give you the honor of helping us restore this old minecart system here? I mean, I'm already trying to repair the minecart system in Pelican Town already, so... Just a second. Just a second now, we're all in this together. 
restoring the minecart system would also allow you to easily travel around the village. Who knows, riding around a minecart as a way to travel might even be fun. I'll handle the funding for the restoration, though we'd still need the supplies. Now that's where you'll come in. I've enlisted Robin's help and she has given me a list of the required supplies. Uh, how difficult is it gonna be? You can drop the supplies over to that minecart box when you have them. See? It ain't all bad, right? I knew you'd be up for the challenge. Just drop off the supplies over to that box whenever, alright? Alright, let's see... Let's see what we might need. Because I have a feeling I'm not going to have the items to do that. So we will see. 300 wood, 10 iron bars, and 5 gold bars. I mean, that's not too bad. It's not impossible. So we're probably going to have to go spelunking in the mines, if that's the case. So we'll see what's up. But anyways, that is very nice to see that we get some little side quests in Ridgeside, Ridgeside Village. I like that a lot. The mod creator did a really good job with this expansion mod. I really like it a lot. It's like a second Stardew Valley expanded. It's just, it's Stardew Valley, but like, but more expanded, which is really, really cool. All right, so if that's the case, I'm selling all of these forageables and coral. I'm saving the rice. Oh, I don't have room in the chest. That is a problem. Uh, let me check the community center and what I need. I can't do anything with the foraging yet, except I can maybe do the wood and the stone, but I don't want to quite yet. I don't have the hardwood, so I'll wait. Let's see, isn't tuna... I can only find tuna in the summer. Tilapia is also in the summer. But let's see the boiler room. I do need an iron bar. Um, I need the frozen tier. A fire quartz, and then 10 bat wings. So I'll grab grab this iron bar real quick. And I'm pretty sure I have 10 bat wings. And I almost have enough slime as well. So I'll take that, keep my earth crystals, and take five of that, and we'll head into town. And I want to repair. I want to repair my pickaxe. So it seems like. I have quite a bit of friendship to Kay, but not that much, so... Let's hurry over to Clint so we can break open this frozen geode before he closes. There he is. Uh, process geodes. Nice. And more stuff for the museum, which is awesome. And then I want you to upgrade my... It's not raining tomorrow, so I want you to upgrade my pickaxe. And I will go mining once the pickaxe is uh, repaired or upgraded. For now, give you that, there, that. I want to save the frozen tier. And I'll put the dwarf scroll right there. Oh, right over there. Sweet. But to rewards, I get a chicken statue, a standing geo decoration, and a starfruit seed for summer. So let's see, geologist, blacksmith, adventure. So I'll go to the community center later tonight. Hi, Elliot. I'll go to the- oh no, he's gone. I was trying to catch him before he left his shop. I was gonna try and buy another fishing rod, or a better fishing rod. A nice perfect catch. For a sardine. This should be another perfect catch here. That one wasn't too difficult. Another sardine. And I might actually get to level 5 fishing pretty soon, actually. Like, I'm, I'm really close. Another perfect for a herring. And there we go. Another perfect for a sardine. Seaweed. Let me eat the seaweed. But I changed my mind. I will go to the community center now, donate the stuff I have, and then go down to the woods in the bottom left of the map. Oh, hi Rodney. 
but uh, I'll go to the woods in the bottom left of the map and try and find more forageables there. I think that's a good idea. So let's go up here to the community center. I'm kind of close to finishing the uh, the boiler room already. I just need a, f a fire quartz and a gold... I need a fire quartz, a gold bar, and either a solar essence, void essence, or more slime. And we should have the boiler room done. So that'll be really, really nice. Help wanted. I'd like to put a diamond above the mantle. Um... I mean, I'll try, but I don't think so. I won't even have my pickaxe for two days, so I don't think it's possible. Weird request. What can I say? George is a high quality... He has high standards. High quality man. So put this in the corner for now. And I'll put my chicken statue right there. Maybe once we get to the winter, I, I'll really um, double down on decorating the farm. Put my starfruit seed in there. And let's go foraging for a little bit. I don't know if I'll have a lot of time, but um, we'll make it work. If not, I can always chop down more trees too. Try and get more wood. Uh, I'm not seeing any spring onions around. I'm not seeing a whole lot of forageables at all. I'm gonna be honest. So let's continue west into the woods and see what I can find. Oh, there's a leak. And I'll actually chop down a few trees while I'm here too. Just so I can use my energy so it doesn't go to waste. And this will also, chopping down some trees will also increase my foraging level as well. So that's good. There we go. Now I can't be in the woods for too long. It's already 10 o'clock, but this will at least give me more wood to work with so I can make more chests. And I, I'm able to chop down trees faster too because my, my axe is upgraded as well. Oh, there's a common mushroom there. Sweet. There's got to be some more forageables around here, right? Uh, wild horseradish. There's a lucky spot right there. Oh, that's a four-leaf clover. Or said to bring good luck. Makes for a nice gift. Uh, it seems every NPC likes this as a gift. Added by Stardew Valley Expanded. Um, I will... I'll probably sell it for money. It sells for a decent amount. So... Because I'd rather give people loved gifts later. Once I have more resources to work with. I want some daffodils. There's another wild horse horseradish. So I'm going to start heading back now that it's midnight. I might have stayed in here for too long and wandered a little too far. I don't know if I'll have time to get back. No, I think I'll have enough time. We'll see. It'll be a close call. Oh no, I went the wrong way. Um. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the path. Come on, hurry up. I got like 30 minutes. It's going to be a really, really close call. All right, sell, 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 sell. And I'll keep the rest. I'll put it. I'll put it away later. I'm. I'm going to bed. Ooh, we made it just in time. Just in time, which is good. Level two socializing. Five percent chance for no daily friendship decay. And we got a solid 1500 G, which is just decent. That's pretty good. I'm pretty sure the flower. Yeah, the flower dances to. Wait, did it change into a blue chicken? My statue changed into a blue chicken. Dear RBX, it's been so long since I heard from you, dear. Things are the same as ever back home. I miss you very much. Love, Mom. P.S. Found an envelope with some money Grandpa left for you. 500G. Thanks, Grandpa. Thanks, Mom. Dear RBX, tomorrow we're all getting together for the flower dance. If you can find a partner, you might even want to participate in the dance yourself. There's a little clearing beyond the forest west of town where we hold the dance. Arrive between 9 and 2 if you're interested. Um... I don't think I will be able to dance with anybody, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> two more green beans, which is always nice. And my strawberries will be ready in two days as well. I'll pet you, hold on, I'll be right there. With all the crops I have now, it takes, uh, it takes about two watering can cycles to water all of my, all of my crops. Here you go, Izzy. So I'm thinking today, same stuff as usual. But today, I'm actually going to catch Willy before he leaves his shop so I can buy a new fishing rod and sell this old bamboo one so I can actually start using bait. Oh, there's a lucky spot right there. I got an oyster for the crab pot. Some more clams and... Jack be nimble, Jack be thick. Gain plus one defense and an artifact. Um, do I just new power oh 
So that's what the... Oh. That's really cool. Is that a 1.6 thing? I think that's a 1.6 thing. That's really cool. All right, Willy. Oh, that's what the jellies are used for? A fish smoker. Place fish inside with a piece of coal to create smoked fish, which is worth double. The quality of the fish is preserved. That could be really, really good for money. So where's the fishing rod? Is it the... Is it the reinforced? Use, uh, I think it's the reinforced fishing rod. And then can I sell you the old one? No, I don't think so. I think I just get rid of it. Okay. No problem. But now I think I can make bait, right? Uh, with bug meat. All right, we're making some good progress. So it should be a little easier to catch fish now as well. So let's try out our new fishing rod and see if it's easier. Well, that didn't do anything. Well, it is what it is. Grab these coral for money. And my pickaxe isn't done until tomorrow, but I probably won't even get it tomorrow because of the flower dance. Hi, Emily. I like their seasonal outfits. It's such a cool detail. I'm really glad that um, it's, it's, it's such a nice visual design. It really adds to the aesthetic of the game, just adding more visual designs for the NPCs and making them seem like... Like they have more than one outfit, which is really cool. Hi, Linus. Is there more forageables this way? Yes, there is. There's a hidden leak right there by the by the warp zone. Grab this dandelion. I think that's it on the way up there. So now let's go back. Now let's go back to that forest so I can start getting more forageables as well. Because we're, we're really close to level four on our foraging. I'll sell that, sell this, keep that for the crab pot, that in there. Then I want to keep the trilobite artifact, and we'll sell the mussel, the coral, the dandelion, and the leeks for some money. That should be about a grand, which will be good to have. But I'm seriously waiting for a rainy day so I can get this watering can upgraded, because then it'll be a lot easier to water my crops every morning. It's also Andy's birthday. What is Andy like? He likes carrots, cookies, green beans, leeks, potatoes, parsnips, bear pancakes, beer, mead, pale ale. All right. I see you. I see that wild horseradish. You can't trick me. I think the first community center bundle I really want to complete is uh, the blacksmith one or uh, the, the furnace because having access to minecarts and getting around a lot quicker will really, really help us out. Um, with time and there we go level four foraging chop down some more trees as well there we go grab this daffodil and there's a sign aurora vineyard so there's also this really cool handy mod called range highlighter and if we open it, it has a bunch of different settings where we can see where it's buildable where bee house ranges are junimo huts scarecrows sprinklers uh, machine processing watered crops a tile grid, tillable, and accessible. So it's really good on your farm, especially for building, but it's also good to see where the areas are where you can and can't walk. So right over here, right down here, we have a little pond. I didn't even know this was here. So I might as well fish a little bit down here. Maybe we can get some good stuff. I'll try and get a perfect catch here too. There we go. A sunfish. There are some really good fish in here. I think that's a largemouth bass. Uh, we got a sunfish. I don't know what that fish is. The other one. The little long looking one. But we'll see. Oh, almost got me with that. So we got another sunfish. Oh, I don't think I got per- Nope, I definitely didn't get perfect there. Nice largemouth bass. And an ancient doll. Nice. We can donate that to the museum as well. These fish are kind of hard to catch. They move around quite a bit. So I'm starting to get exhausted, so I think I'll start heading back. But we can see there's a little area over here underneath the trees with a lot of forageables. So we'll just make our way through this little path. This extra area for Stardew Valley Expanded back here in these woods, it's really cool. It really gives you access to more stuff in the game and more forageables if you... Uh, run out or can't find any it's just uh more exploration which i really appreciate i think it's really it's really nice to have 
if I can find my way out of here. There we go. So the mod's pretty useful for finding where an area is walkable and where it's not. Another dandelion down there. And I'm not really seeing any more forgeables down here, so I think that's all we can really do for the night. I can maybe fish for... I can maybe try and fish one more time, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll fish one more time. See what we can get. Um... Well, I guess that means I can fish, uh, one more time. Or two more times, actually. Nice, perfect. And I got a bream, which sells for a decent amount. This is my last fish catch of the night. Uh, well, that's really lucky then, because it's used uh, to craft the new uh, fish smoker. So that's really good. I will take that. So let's sell all these forageables and these fish, which should give me a pretty decent amount of money today, honestly. Um, I guess we'll see how much we get once we go to bed, but um, I'll deposit all of that into the chest, put my ancient doll in there, and head off to bed. But that was a pretty productive day, I'm happy. And we get tappers, which is awesome. I've been wanting tappers for quite a bit. Another 15, 1600 money, 1500 G. So we're, we're starting to rake in some a uh, decent amount of money now, which I'm pretty happy about. My pickaxe is ready, so I'll take these artifacts for Clint. Take that for the crab pot. Take my stone and wood to donate to the community center. And I think that's all I can do. But I will I'll harvest my strawberries for the day. And I'm going to try and head over to Clint's as fast as I can... But I actually, I don't think I'll have time, which is okay. I can grab it tomorrow. So what I'm actually, I'm going to put this stuff away. Yeah, I'm going to put, um, I put the stuff away because I'm going to go to the flower dance and I'm going to try and water my crops as fast as I can. But I really hope it's a rainy day soon because I want this watering can upgraded before, before summer. Now let's see, uh... All right, they're watered. Nice. I really like that mod. I can see if I missed anything, which is really cool. So actually, it's going to start soon. So let's start making our way down to the little forest area for the festival. Oh, it's being set up. I thought I had to go to the woods earlier, but I guess not. I'll at least chop down a few of these, a few of these logs, clean up a little bit before it's time to go. And the flower dance is, uh, has started, so let's go, let's go over down to the woods. Oh, there, this looks way different. Oh, wow, I got rejected hard. I'm probably going to be rejected by everybody. Hi, Maddie, dancing is just a waste of energy. I've got better things to do. Can I ask, can I ask him to be my dance partner? No. And even if he did, I would have said no. That's really funny. So apparently my grandpa was a ladies' man. Good for him. Bro, look at it. He's schmoovin'. He is, he is hardcore dancing. Man, no one wants to dance with me. No one really likes me. But to, to be fair, I am not very good friends with anybody, so it's gonna be hard. I don't think I can actually dance with anybody, but all the Ridgeside NPCs look very cool, and I love to see that. Hi, Rosa, and then there's Rodney. Uh, I gotta make sure to get this recipe, and I... I know the Rare Crow, I can't, I don't know if I can get this Rare Crow again until next year, but I'm not going to buy it because I do need the money when we start getting into summer. Man, this is so sad. Hi, Luna. Will you be my partner? Okay. All the townspeople look so cool, like, in their outfits. They all look so good. Like, look, look at Marlin, his eye patch and his little tuxedo. He looks great. He looks awesome. He's, he's... Linus looks really good. Look at that. He's got flowers in his beard for the flower dance. Oh, this is sweet. This is so cool. I love seeing all these outfits for all the NPCs. This is really cool. 
Even George dressed up. I would ask him to dance, but... I mean, that's a little bit of bad taste. I'm sorry about that one. <laughs> Man, that was harsh. Rejection Simulator. 2024. I mean, I knew this was gonna happen. I didn't really... I, <laughs> I haven't really been trying to make friends, but like... Dang, it kind of hurts. All right, where's Lewis? Let's, uh, I think I talked to almost everybody now, so. No, nope. I got rejected by Abigail, too. All right, where is Lewis? Let's get this thing going so I can drown in my own misery. Maybe I can ask Mr. Aguard to dance. No? Yeah, where is Mr. Lewis? Lewis, did I miss him? Yeah, where the heck did he go? I can't find Lewis. I, I've checked, like, so many people. I don't know where Lewis is. Oh, there he is. He has his little tuxedo on. That's really cool. I like how they each have their individual or their own dresses. Like, and they're not, they don't all look the same. I think it's really cool. That was fun. Time to go home. I don't like how when that event sends you home, it's like already 10 o'clock. And there's not a whole lot left to do because it's on, it's only uh, through the day. So I don't I think it should send you home at like four or five because then you'd be able to do a little bit more. And how did I only get two strawberries? Did I miss one? No, I have my gold quality ones in there. Oh, I got a gold quality one. I just put it in the wrong chest. All right. Well, we'll sell those two and we'll head off to bed. What's oh, a black chicken now? Yeah, this statue's cool. I like it. And no money day 25 of spring we're getting really really close to summer bright and sunny day tomorrow that is not what i want to hear but it is a good luck day i've been having really good luck oh hi lewis i was checking your shipping bin pierre and sophia had a large number of products to ship this morning i'm very happy you're getting situated here on in stardew valley and you're making great progress on rbx farm thank you lewis I need to walk over to Fairhaven Farm and check if Andy is shipping anything. He usually has high quality forage from Cinder Sap Forest. Must be convenient to be able to forage in your backyard. Yeah, that's true. I'll leave you to your farm work. Thank you, Lewis. All right. Let's get these strawberries harvested. Actually, this brings me to level five farming. So this should be quite a decent money day. I should get a decent amount of money today, actually. Uh, I need a bit more water. The ancient fruit is uh, starting to grow too, so that'll be really good once we can get um, an ancient fruit. Because then I can get more seeds and we can just uh, rinse and repeat and multiply our ancient fruit. Uh, let me check. Ah, uh, there we go. I missed one. Hi, Izzy. And 46, 4700 for that, and then 750. So that's over five. That's over five grand which is really good, and I'll save the gold quality strawberries for gifting. So now that our pickaxe is done, let's go over to Quint's and the museum and the community center. So that way we can get, we can go into the mines today. I wanna make more progress and get further down. I'm, I only have a few days of spring left, so it's gonna be hard to get what I want done in these next few days. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and go into summer with um, at least 20,000. I think that'll be a good number. Got my patched pickaxe. So it should be a little easier to go through the mines now. Um, I'll give you this ancient doll. And I'll give you the trilobite. And now we're off to the mines. After I check the trash can. Alright, and with that we have three out of the five items we need for the crab pot bundle. So I might, I'm, I'm going to try and craft a crab pot instead of buying one from Willy. But if it comes down to it, I'll buy it. Uh, that is the wrong bundle. The bundle I need is over this way. It's the foraging bundle. Uh, construction, construction. There we go. And now we just need hardwood and we can get this construction bundle done. So we're making some really good progress on the community center. And I'm really happy about it. Talk to Linus like usual, because I'm pretty sure he gives really good bait once we get to a certain amount of hearts with him. But I'll put my stuff in there for now, and then we'll head down to floor 45. And you'll actually notice I did get rid of the, the ladder mod. That was just really lucky. I, 
I thought it was a bit cheaty, so I didn't want to use it anymore. So I'm I disabled it, which I think it I think it makes it a little more fair going through the mines, because that's the whole struggle of of going through the mines. And I am right on top of this slime. I just took a lot of damage for no reason. And we can break these ores open a lot faster now, which I'm happy. I'm really happy about. There was a frog in that crystal. I do need more slime. I'm trying to fight off these slimes. They have so much health. And once I get enough slime, we can uh, finish the monster hunting bundle. Nice crate. Can I get a cave carrot? I got quality retaining soil uh, or soil though, so some wood. Just gonna get a little more iron and some copper from that crate, which is nice to get. Oh, that is a lot of iron right there. That is so good. That's so good to find. That was 19 iron ore, which is so good. Kill this slime real quick. Oh, that floor was really good for getting iron. That floor was awesome. This floor looks really promising as well. Kill this bat. Annoying bat. And a cave carrot, which I can eat for some more energy and health. And there's a lot of iron on this floor as well. This bat needs to get off of me. Put the slime in the corner so he can't do anything. He got comboed. Comboed like it's Tekken. Getting my combat up too, which is really good to see. Um, I think I've cleared the floor. So I just gotta find a ladder now. And there we go. Level 50, and we get the Tundra Boots. Which should give me one defense, one immune, two defense, and one immunity. And my boots are a little bit of a warmer brownish color. So I'll go down a little more. I don't know if I'll make it to 55, but we'll try. What I really need is a new weapon. Because this thing does not do a whole lot of damage. Oh, I have to fend off two enemies on two sides. That's not good. Alright, got the bat. And there's a frozen tier, which I can donate the, uh, that to Gunther. Because I needed one for the community center, and I need one for Gunther, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yep, that is correct. Another bat. It's going to be tough to find the ladder on this floor. There's not a whole lot of... Oh, no, never mind. Oh my god, there's so many monsters. And I'm slowed. Oh, mining monthly. I got a skill book, and it gives me more mining experience? Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. I kind of like these books that I can just find while exploring, and they'll give me things. It's really cool to see. Oh, some more coal. I'm definitely going to need a lot of coal eventually, especially if I'm going to be automating things. Oh, a ghost. I think I can get a solar essence from that. Kill this ghost. It's just kind of coming over to me. Grab this frozen tear. Has so he gets so he gets knocked back so much. And he probably has a lot of health too. Come on. Get over here. Give me a crit. Oh, this guy's so annoying to fight. Come on. Oh no. There we go. Alright, we're out. And we got a solar essence, which is really good. So I can donate that. But I need to head back home. <laughs> we got some good we got some good stuff. But I don't have the time. I don't have the time to keep going. I can grab that though. Alright, then we'll figure out what we can sell and what we can keep. Uh, I'll get rid of that so I can grab this horseradish. Uh, I'll put my coal in there. And I'll put my copper and iron as well. Uh, keep the frozen geode. Keep the frozen tears. Keep the gold. Put stone and wood in there. I'm gonna sell that. Yeah, I'll sell the leather boots. Solar essence I need to keep. Uh, retaining soil can go in there. Gold ore. And we can get rid of the rest. Alright. I can maybe I can maybe sell some other stuff too. So I can probably sell this uh, I'm not selling this. I want to make some bait. Put it on my fishing rod. Oh, I think the exclamation point means I haven't made it before. So it's probably for com completion. So I'll just keep that in my inventory and I'll sell it to sell it to Marlin the next day. Level 5 farming. Okay, so I have two options here. Alright, so I've actually thought about what profession I want to go down for the skills. But for farming specifically, the the teller is just so much better than the rancher by a long shot. I don't know if it changed for an, oh, 5,500. That is a lot of money. 
Um, I don't know if it changed in 1.6 or not, or if uh, Rancher got buffed, or Artists and, and Agriculturalists got nerfed or something, but I think the Tiller is just the way to go, in my opinion. So we'll move on to our last few days of spring. Weather report, it's all sunny tomorrow. I can't upgrade my watering can, which sucks. Oh, and Demetrius. Hi, RBX, I have some good news for you. A few days ago, I made a breakthrough in my research on the local environment. I'll spare you the technical details and get to the point. You know that empty cave you have over in the- Oh, we get access to the cave, we can choose. Well, I have a way to turn it into something useful for both of us. I'd like to set up the cave to attract some local species. That way I can observe them in a more controlled environment, and you can harvest whatever products they produce. I can either set up the cave to attract mushrooms or fruit bats. The bats will sometimes leave fruit for you to collect. So I think I thought about this too, and I th both options are good. If you go with the bats, you can get fruit early game before you can buy trees, before you buy the fruit trees. And the fruit trees can get kind of expensive, um, especially for early game. But when you pick mushrooms, you can only get mushrooms or certain mushrooms either in the caves or at certain times of the year. Now, the downside to picking the mushrooms is that the fruit is also dependent on the time of the year as well, based on the fruit tree you have. So I th I'd say it's an equal trade off, but I think I want to go with the mushrooms. All right, I'll go set it up for you right now. It shouldn't take any time at all. Thanks for letting me do this. Yeah, no problem. You are helping me out in more ways than one. But I think uh, I think the mushrooms are going to be better for what I want to do. Because I actually want to decorate the cave. The little cave in there. And if you have the fruit bats and you decorate it, I think if you have like paths or decorations in the cave, then I don't know if fruits can spawn or on the tiles in the fruit cave, or in the in the cave. So because of that, I want to go with the mushrooms, because they have a set spot where they spawn at every day. All right, my crops are all watered. Very nice. Get Izzy's dog bowl, and pet her on the way to the cave. All right. Oh, what is that? What is this? A dehydrator. Place 50 pieces of fruit or edible mushrooms inside to dry them. Oh, that's really cool. Is that is that a new thing? Do I... I've never seen that before. That's new to me. I'll go make a chest really quick after I donate this green bean. Oh, I can't actually make a chest. Okay. Uh, sorry, tree. I'll make a chest. And I'll go put that inside the cave. Uh, there we go. So now when we harvest our mushrooms, we can save them and get them dehydrated. Oh, and there's a lucky spot hidden behind this tree. Just some stone. But that'll, that'll be really good. That actually makes the mushroom cave a lot better than the fruit cave, right? I like that. That's a, that's a cool little addition. Getting, uh, dehydrated mushrooms. And that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. Go see what's on the request board. I need green algae if it's not too inconvenient. Um, it's a little inconvenient. I don't know why I would do that. And I didn't even grab my copper bars. I am really forgetful. Oh yeah, the traveling merchant is also in town. Which is really good. So I'll bring that with me. I'll bring my five copper bars so I can upgrade one of my tools. Because it's not raining tomorrow, so I might as well do... Or upgrade something else. So let's go see if the traveling merchant is selling a red cabbage. Glazed yams, melon seeds, strawberry holly, goat milk, rare seeds, bait and bobber, which is another book to get fishing experience. I don't think I'm willing to sp spend 6,000 G on it, so. So let's go. Let's go into town and maybe go back in the mines again. Because I think that's where a lot of the money is going to come from. Either that or I fish at the lake. Hello, Clint. Um, please upgrade my hoe for me. Because I don't have anything else to hoe for a little bit. And it should be done on either the 28th or the 1st of summer. So we will see. Yeah, I think I'm going to go fishing today. 
Oh, pancakes. Holy crap. Plus two to my foraging and a lot of energy and health. Let me go donate this solar essence real quick. And there we go. Bundle completed. A small magnet ring, which I already have, so... But with that, we unlock the bulletin board bundles. And for that, I need maple syrup, poppies, maki rolls, fried eggs, tr a truffle, fiddlehead fern, wheat, hay, apples, oak resin wine, rabbit's foot, pomegranate, purple mushroom, nautilus shell, chubs, a frozen geode, a red mushroom, duck feather, aquamarine, sea urchin, sunflower, and the red cabbage. All right, not too bad. So I'll sell the magnet ring, because I already have one, so I mean, why would I want another one? So I'll head up over to Marlin so I can sell these boots and the magnet ring. And then once I sell them, we'll go fishing at this, at the lake for the day. And then I'll go back and make some crab pots and some tappers for the trees on my farm. Hello, Marlin. Uh, here's the leather boots and the magnet ring. I might be able to buy the wooden mallet and do more damage that way. I'll actually go fish over here where this boat is. Because I can see some fish in the water down here. And now that we have bait, fishing should actually be quite a bit faster as well. Which is really nice. There we go, that was pretty fast. A nice perfect for a bullhead. We'll see if I can get a chub as well, but I don't, I don't think I get chubs here. Nice and easy catch for a carp. A 37 inch carp is crazy. Getting some more carps and we're almost at level five fishing. And once we get to level five fishing, we can pick a profession tonight for it as well. There we go, level five fishing. I'm catching fish really fast. I'll get that treasure, treasure chest. Maybe I can get something good out of it. Oh, wow. Both of these I can use at the community center. That's that's really convenient. I'm getting a lot of fishing XP for being here. This is really nice. This is a good fishing spot. And I'll stop fishing for the day. I think that's a good amount of fish I got today. Because in order to make tappers, wherever the tappers are, there they are, I need 40 wood and 2 copper. So let's go to the community center first and get some of these items donated to the bulletin board bundles. Um, so Demetrius wants a frozen geode and Emily wants an aquamarine. All right. That treasure chest was really convenient for that, actually. That was kind of lucky. So let's go back to my farm real quick. And we'll sell the bullheads and the carps, the largemouth bass, the minnows, my forageables, and I will keep the rest. And there we go. Nice. So I'll grab a few of these iron bars, and in order to make the crab pot, I need wood. So let's go down to the forest, or actually, let's go down here to my farm, and I'll chop down a few trees. Because for now, I think I'll make two crab pots. I don't think I have the energy to actually chop down enough trees for this. But I think I can put that in my little pond, grab some bait, and put that in the, in the crab pot right there. So we'll see what we get tomorrow. And I think we'll go to bed for the night. I think that's, uh, that was a pretty productive day. So we're now at level 5 fishing, and I want to choose the fisher profession, so that fish are worth more, so I can sell them for more money. Look at that, almost a thousand G. Let's check the weather, it's going to be nice and sunny all day tomorrow. And I have a really bad luck day today. That is very unfortunate. Greetings RBX, it's our pleasure to inform you that your farm will be featured in next week's up and coming column of the Stardew Valley Tribune. Congratulations, we're impressed with your quick progress, SVT. RBX, I'm really glad you became part of our community. I'm, I've enclosed a 500G check from the Stardew Valley Agricultural Fund to help you continue your good work. Maybe you can buy some more seeds with it. Sincerely, Mr. Lewis. So we'll grab my cauliflowers. 
And luckily, I think tomorrow... Oh, that's really unfortunate. We're not going to be able to get all of our strawberries, which is really sad. We got a periwinkle from the crab pot, though, which can be used for, for the crab pot bundle. I wonder if crab pots can be automated with the automate mod. If it can, then I'll keep one there and just put a bunch of bait in it and see what happens. All right. All of my crops are watered. Very cool. And I'm going to sell my cauliflower and keep the gold star one. Oh, I can't get that lucky spot. My hoe isn't ready. So I'm thinking today I'll probably just go foraging the entire day and chopping down some trees because I don't have a lot of wood. So I think getting enough wood it will be important so that I can have it for later. Oh, hello, Willie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the more cinder snap woods and start chopping down all these trees because this place will give me a lot of wood. Oh, and another four leaf clover. That's really lucky. I'll probably sell that like before. It, you can sell them for quite a bit of money. All right. And uh, I'm almost out of energy, but we got 178 wood, which is which is good. I can make a lot of tappers with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back make some tappers and start and start putting them on the trees uh, at my farm. Oh, hi, Willy. Wasn't expecting you to show up. You've been angling for some time now. With that fishing experience under your belt, I recommend casting your line over at Surewater Bridge, east of Pelican Town. You'll land some good whoppers there. That's some good advice. I might actually do that pretty soon. So what do I got? Uh, I got a maple tree, an oak tree, and I've got pine trees around. So, it depends on how much copper I have. So let me see. Um, two copper from there. Nine copper. Uh, I'll make three tappers. Sell this stuff. And then I'll also make a chest. And I'll get some wood paths. So I wonder if the tappers will work with a chest. I'll have to see. So what I want to try is I actually want to try and put a chest right here in the middle and then two wooden paths connecting to it. So we'll see how that turns out. We'll see if that works. Organize all my stuff, put the wooden path in there. I think I'll go to the community center to get rid of this uh, periwinkle. And there's some daffodils on my way there. Now I only need a cockle and a lob or or a crab, a crayfish, a shrimp, or a snail. So the crab pot bundle is almost done. So now let's go to the beach and try and pick up any coral or things that we can sell that we can find on the beach. Uh, I'm not seeing anything, but let's go check across the bridge. A mussel, some... There's quite a bit of coral, and then there's a sea urchin, which I think is actually needed for the community center. Yeah. It's not for the crab pot bundle, but it's for uh, Emily's bundle, the dye bundle. And with that, the dye bundle is one step closer to being done. So that's really good. So actually, I'll add to the to-do list um, for summer uh, sunflowers. So I need tuna. So now you can see on the t in the top left corner, I have on my to-do list. Um, I have all the things I need for for the summer, for the community center. So as I get them, I can mark them as done. So once we get into summer, um, that list will be really nice to have in the top left corner. So now that that's done, um, I think that's about all we can do today. I'll sell the rest of my stuff in my inventory. Uh, I'll put the broken glasses in the chest for the recycling machine. And I think... Uh, I'll head to bed. So I think we'll call that for uh, the last Saturday this this spring. Level 3 socializing. I can craft a bouquet and 5% chance for no daily friendship decay. So about th almost, uh, almost 3 grand, which is really good. So we're starting to make a lot of money. So I've got a Queen of Sauce episode this morning. Greetings. It is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe for my secret cookbook. This week's dish is... An omelet. I learned how to craft an omelet. Nice. So unfortunately, I'm one day short on these strawberry seeds. Well, because it's the last day, I actually don't see a point in watering them. So I'm going to save my energy to 
to fish for the rest of the day. So I'll sell these strawberries. I'll keep the golden ones. So I guess I'm selling a strawberry. I'll head over to Izzy to pet her, water her watering bowl. I'll put a bait in the crab pot. First, I'm going to go see the traveling merchant because I want to see if the traveling merchant has the red cabbage, which I don't think she will, but we'll see. Hello, traveling merchant. How are you? A rainbow shell, a bream, a leek, an orange, summer seeds, fiddlehead fern, a crayfish for 900. That is expensive, but hold on. I think I might actually buy this crayfish so I can finish the bundle today. No, I think I can wait on it. I would rather save my money. I would rather save my money for summer so I can buy a bunch of seeds. So I'll actually, I'll hold off on finishing the bundle for now because it's not a part of the boiler room bundles. I need a gold bar and then a fire crystal and I'll have access to the mine carts which will save me a ton of time. So I don't actually have enough copper to upgrade another tool. I just remembered I spent all of my copper on tappers. So I'll have to get more copper, but I'll probably save that for summer. What I would rather do today is fish at the bridge that Willie was talking about yesterday. So I'll head over to Clint's and claim my hoe, my upgraded hoe, and I'll probably go fish on the bridge for the rest of the day. And we got a patched hoe. So let's go over to this bridge and see if we can find what Willie was talking about. I can see some weird looking fish in the river already. So we'll see if we can get any- oh my. Holy crap. That was really intense. I'll try my best to capture this, but this is looking real difficult. This fish is so jittery. A butterfish. 375G for a gold quality. That's pretty good. If I can catch these, th these will be a really good source of money. Holy crap, these are insane. These are on par with like legendary fish to catch. Oh, I almost failed it there. That was close. That was really close. Like, I actually have to be quiet and like focus on these. There we go. Another butterfish. We might make a lot of money today because of it. But these are high risk, high reward kind of thing. I want to know what these fish are that look like dogs. No! 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 They're so hard. They're so, so hard. They're so hard to catch. I might need like a, a some bobbers if I really want to catch these. They move around so much. Oh, that's a minnow. I'm not going to worry about the treasure chest, honestly. I'll stop moving around so much. Mother catch. Alright, that one that one wasn't so bad. Um, They do sell for a lot of money, though. So this is a really good early game money farm, actually, if you can do it. Hi, Sterling. Again, with these, I'm not, I'm not worried about the treasure chest. I would rather not. No. Hi, Sterling. Yeah, I'll probably just sit here and fish all day on this bridge. Because this can be this is like a really good source of money. Oh, that was a really good one. I'm insane. I'm also getting a lot of trash from this too, which isn't bad. Because I can totally put that in my recycling machine. Come on. So close, so close. Come on, come on. Nice. I want to know what this dog fish is. It looks so interesting. Holy crap, that fish shot up there. Alright. I'm gonna call fishing there. I am kind of pooped from those difficult fish. That is insane. If you're really good at fishing in this game, I would say definitely go for those fish if you want to make money really early in the game. But that's really intense. I don't know if I could. So what I'm gonna do with the rest of my energy is I'm actually gonna go up to the mines and try and farm a little bit of copper. So we'll go to floor 10 and start making our way down a little bit. At least the slimes down here are easier to kill. Now where is this ladder? There we go. I'm not seeing a whole lot of copper. Oh, there's one, right as I said it. Get rid of the driftwood, get rid of that. I'll eat that, and I'll get rid of the trash. 
It's not super important. So let's see. Mine, mine. I can get rid of this soggy newspaper as well. I don't really need the trash. I'm just here for a little bit of copper. I'm almost out of energy. So a few more rocks and I'll call it there. And that's all the energy I can use. Wait. What is that? A yam? Uh, I don't need you. Fall crops. That's pretty lucky. So I'll call it there in the mines and make my way back home to start selling some stuff. And then I think that'll call it for the last day of spring. Let me put the trash in the recycling machine. And then I'll sell the fish. I'll sell this earth crystal. Keep that. And then I'll keep the rest of that stuff too. Emptied a nearby chest. Put my... I can put my copper in this chest so I can start smelting a little more copper. Put that in this chest. And then I'll actually sell this sardine as well. Because I don't think it's worth it to keep it. The iridium quality one. And with that, I think we're going to call it there on the last day of spring. A solid 3100G as well. So that's really cool. And we're now officially starting the first day of summer. And we end off spring with almost, almost getting to my goal of uh, 20,000G. And with that... I'm going to call episode 3 here. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching this far into the video, and if you liked my commentary and liked the video, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video, where we make more progress on our farm in the summer. See you guys next time.